Hi friends, Miss Sarah here. I hope you're having a terrific day. I want to introduce you to my axolotl fox. Down here in the corner. Um, he'll be joining me in my videos for a while. As some of you know, our class pet from last year, Porkchop the Beta, passed away over the summer, and Miss Nicole, Miss Crystal, and I decided to wait on getting a new class pet for a little while. So my pet fox will be in my upcoming distance learning videos with me. Since this is our first video this year, I wanted to explain how distance learning videos will be set up this year. First, I will always do a little intro, saying hi and talking about the date. Second, I will be reading a book. Third, there's going to be an animal of the day that I will talk a little bit about and show some pictures and maybe a video sometimes. Fourth, we will have a question of the day that you can answer with a parent and share in the comments below if you want to tell Miss Nicole, Miss Crystal, and I your answer. And lastly, a short goodbye from Fox. So today, I will be reading one of my favorite books. It's called What Do You Do With the Problem? I really like this book because I think it teaches a good lesson and the pictures are beautiful. The animal of the day today is going to be a wolf and you'll have to stay tuned for the question of the day. So today is November 10th and it is Tuesday and the year is 2020. Um, so stay tuned for the video and have a terrific day, friends. So here is our book for today. What do you do with a problem? I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with the problem, I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shooed it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything. I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. 
Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. The end. Wolves are members of the dog family. Wolves live together in groups called packs. The wolves in a pack get along with each other and hunt together. Wolves can travel a long way to hunt and they hunt day and night. They eat almost any animal they can catch, including deer, bison, elk, caribou, and moose. Most wolves live in northern regions, including parts of the upper Midwest, Alaska, Canada, and Asia.